Hey everybody, it's Al with CADCAMWizard.com and today we're talking about points. Uh, depending on the manufacturing process you're working with, it's likely you may have a series of points. And if you don't have the ability to put this into your system, uh, then that means there's a lot of typing in that you need to do. So where do these points come in from? Uh, it could come from a spreadsheet, it could come from a digitizer, uh, it could just be a series of holes. It, it really just depends. Uh, but point locations are, are really common. Sometimes they're called point clouds, uh, XYZ files, etc. So I wrote a blog post about it, you know, talking about bringing in points and different ways you can do it. You know, uh, there's a lot of different tools that are out there to allow for this, but some of them are really expensive. Uh, you know, Traditional or old school uh, vendors like Centroid, they've been offering probing on their equipment for a long time. And that's really the use case here is how do we get all these points off the control to be able to edit the design, okay? So I was able to find an online tool that's free, who doesn't like that, that will convert our points to us uh, automatically. We just got our points to DXF. We just got to format the code and put it into this block uh, here, and then we'll click create DXF. So how does it work? Well, you get your XYZ data, okay, and you can see that there's a bunch of stuff going on here. We got to format this a little bit, all right? So one of the things that we have to pay attention to is the X and Y values. We need to we need to remove those. The, the third column is going to go away, okay? But uh, the first and second column, we need to remove the, the characters X and Y, all right? So uh, there's a number of ways to do it. Probably easier to do this, but we're going to do uh, replace. We're going to say X replace with nothing, replace all, okay? And then we'll say uh, Y replaced with nothing, replace all. And you'll see that does a, a good job of clearing out those two areas. Now, the next thing that we want to look at is the spacing. And, uh, you know, I don't, let's see if we can do that. Edit, uh, let's do replace. We're going to say space, space, replaced with a space, replace all. And that should format uh, any, we should only have single spacing between the characters now. All right. So that is some of the general formatting we need to do with this. Uh, other than that, I tend to remove like these last lines here. We don't really need those. And the third column for this application, uh, it's going to ignore it. All right. So that's the general format that we're looking at in order to uh, get this going for us. All right, so now that we have all the points formatted, the next thing that we want to do is just open up this website again. All right, so here's the website, uh, points to dxf.com. We're going to take all this data, so we'll do control A, control uh, C, and then we're going to do control V. So we just plug all this information in here and we go create dxf. And then it's just going to download that file for us. So we just go to our download folder and then we can open it into Bobcad. Uh, you could open it into Bobcad or really any CAD system. This client's using Bobcad, so that's the one we're working with. Uh, I downloaded the file into my uh, download directory. I'm just gonna drag and drop it onto the screen here and then it's gonna open up this file. So if you have points that you're trying to get into your CAD system, and you're struggling, either they don't have uh, a utility for it or you're not aware of an option, this website's really easy to use. You just format the points uh, accordingly and copy and paste and download, and now you have your DXF file. And then from here, you can go in and you can modify it and adjust it accordingly so that you can remachine this part. Uh, this tool is very popular for reverse engineering. If you're out on the machine uh, using a digitizer, like I said, or if you use an Excel spreadsheet and you're generating a bunch of points, uh, there's a free utility. It's easy to use, and I hope you enjoy it. Uh, thank you very much. If you have any questions or comments or feedback, just reply to the Facebook group or YouTube or 
uh, website that you find this video on. Other than that, I look forward to seeing you guys in the next one. Thank you so much.